Sanford Burnham is a unique and ideal partner. Where the very best people and the very best technology converge. Basic science research is the hope for the future, and it's what we're all working for. The news caught everyone off guard. Sanford Burnham announced it wanted out of Orlando. They wanted to shrink down the operation. Leaving dozens of employees basically in limbo now. The only issue is that they came in with state funds. Sanford Burnham was given 300 plus million dollars in tax incentives. John Texter, he took a $20 million loan from state taxpayers to build digital domain in Port St. Lucie. Hundreds of jobs lost, an economic engine that sputtered and died. Trying to deliver on your promises to the community, that's not always consistent with what, uh, you know, the short-term whims of an investor market might want. Hundreds of local jobs lost, millions in taxpayer money wasted, and a bankruptcy that leaves a big hole on the Treasure Coast. Port St. Lucie left on the hook for millions of dollars in money it invested. breaking developments in the legal fight to expose the secret deal, what many people are calling it. Two days after Florida's House Speaker filed suit to force disclosure, Pitbull himself revealed that he charged taxpayers a million dollars. One million dollars of your taxpayer money. Some of the $118 million in cash has been promised to corporations who have yet to live up to their promise to create jobs. I searched state records going back five years in the Bay Area, and I found at least 13 companies taking your taxpayer dollars failed to deliver on job promises. Executive salaries went from nearly $800,500 to $1.4 million over the past six years. Enterprise Florida will also be closing four international offices in an effort to save money. That's Bill Johnson, Florida. Florida's Secretary of Commerce and Enterprise Florida's president. EFI's board authorized $765,000 in bonuses for Enterprise employees, which included a $50,000 bonus for Johnson after six months on the job. In a review of three months of Johnson's expenses, we found an order for custom-made furniture paid for with state money. We need to be held accountable to the taxpayers of this state, and I'm happy to do that. Enterprise Florida uh, may have lost its way. There are a number of subsidies to business and industry that I believe are unnecessary. Not because the activities being subsidized aren't of value, but because the marketplace contains incentives enough to warrant continuing these activities without a government subsidy.